Well, throughout the school year, we honor high school students who are excelling in the STEM fields. Yeah, our future leaders winners get $1,000 prize money. Lord Whitney is here to introduce us to this month's winners. You always get to meet them. They're so fabulous. They are so fabulous. And our November winner is McKenna Turner. She's a junior at Pike, our Peak Charter School in Lafayette. McKenna told my colleague Ashton Iltiri that she believes access to opportunity and education. And as Ashton shows us, she adheres to that philosophy in everything that she does. What is this apparatus I see in your ear? What is this? Uh, this is my wearable device. At age 13, McKenna Turner was already building her own fitness tracker. What it does is it tracks your accelerometer data and then transmits it to the computer. The high school junior draws a direct line between that and the work she does now at the University of Colorado. She's working with a graduate student at the Atlas Institute to develop a wearable device that teaches skills like hitting a golf ball. And it's a mix between figuring out the proper algorithm to use and being able to see how people interact with the device and the iOS app that have been developed with it. She's also a lead on her high school first robotic team. They're developing a rover robot for competition. We basically create um, a visual model of what the field would look like and what a robot would look like in the field. And so I'm captain of that team. At the heart of all of these projects is computer coding. McKinney, you were telling me you know a lot of different programming languages. What do you like best about the process of coding? It's something that's kind of a de-stressor for me to just like write lines of code, see something show up on the screen. She has three websites in development. I think the website that I'm most proud of is McKennaT.com. It's my personal one, and I think I'm not proud of it because it shows my coding ability the strongest, but I'm proud of it because it shows who I am the strongest. Who she is is an international philanthropist. Last year, McKenna collected boxes full of supplies for a school in Puerto Rico devastated by the hurricane. After hearing about all of the schools closing down, I was just in awe. It's, it's tragic that these kids are not getting an education, and I really value my education. An education that continues to offer her new experiences and a greater appreciation of the possibilities. I'm Ashton Altieri, covering Colorado First. What an amazing young woman. Now, McKenna has started a new round of fundraising for another load of school supplies for Puerto Rico, and she's hoping to continue her studies at Stanford. Now, if you know a future leader, nominate them by filling out the application form at cbsdenver.com. We get a lot of applications, and she was by far, it, just, it was amazing I'm to read her. I'm trusting this young girl to help my golf game. I was hoping <laughs> she said that. I was so, thinking that, too. Right, yeah, yeah, that'll be fabulous. So. Mm -hmm.